Hey, what's up, YouTube? So in my last video, so I remember, I told you guys I would be showing you how to install mods and uh, whatever kinds of stuff you guys wanted into your Minecraft game. But before we start, the one thing you always want to do is go to new, create a new folder, and uh, backup. We can label this folder whatever you want. See, I misspelled it, but that's chill because that's how we roll. And uh, after you create that folder, you go to start and you click run. You find run and you type in app data. Um, I'm not the. Are these the degree signs, symbols, whatever? Yeah, you click those and app data and then run, and it's gonna take you to your app data roaming file in your hard drive, and it's gonna have the dot Minecraft folder. You um, shit. you copy that, boom, and you save it into your backup. What you're doing right now is basically creating a backup of what your um minecraft game was like before any of the changes were made that way if um one of these mods ends up ruining your game so uh to the point where you can't run it any longer you will be able to re uh, retrieve that game and hopefully you'll still have your save the games and you won't lose anything so make sure you do that after you do that um you go to google and um let's say you open up a good pay uh, a new page and you type in mine minecraft mods um you click on the first one mapping and modding minecraft forums and it'll take you to the minecraft forums from there um you can get texture packs minecraft tools but what you want to do is click release mods um as you can see in here we have a list of all the mods that you can download that people have um uploaded into the minecraft forum for you to download and use so um if you like any of these apps make sure you donate to the people it really helps them out in the production and it keeps um it keeps them steady with updates so make sure you do that um and for a lot of these mods what you're gonna need are simple um uh like tools and a lot of them require these tools so uh the first one is um mod loader beta 1.3 and um i'm gonna provide the link to this in the description so don't worry and just click download v4 or v4 with grass fix or even v5 i just downloaded v4 i'm not sure if um some of the mods will work with the v5 but you could you could try that you know it won't hurt to try um uh the next one is in that same page and it's called audio mod audio mod beta there you go you click download and you'll download that the next one is called um uh where is it it's called gui api that'll also be in the video description so click the links and you scroll down to where it says main download and you click that and it will start downloading right away and the third thing you need to download is called a spawn list a spawn list um will work for humans and um other mods so make sure you download those once you have the down those once you have those downloaded as you can see i have them here in my desktop that'll be in a they will be in a winrar archive thing so make sure you download winrar i'm pretty sure it's free i haven't downloaded winrar in a while but when i downloaded it it was free and extract those to their own folders so extract where is it extract to audio mod extract um guapi and extract the spawn list and as you can see i extracted them into their own separate folder and um let's say you want to install install mod loader you open that up and it gives you all these class files you click start again and you you do run you run you run run and you type in app data again with the um, degree symbols so you click OK and um, it'll uh, once again take you to your minecraft folder this time you open it and you go into the bin folder and and you'll find this file called minecraft.jar you need winrar for this part or any um, thing that will let you open up jar files and edit them so WinRAR will work, so I recommend you really get that. And you're gonna need it to extract the other folders and files, so make sure you have it. And you do oh, you right click and you do open with WinRAR Archiever. Once you click that, you'll find 
all these files, all these class files. That's all the files that are in your Minecraft game right now. <clears throat> so what you do is you go back to your mod loader that you just downloaded and extracted and you click you grab all of these, you select them and you drag them over here and you click OK and they are now in your Minecraft folder. That was the mod loader. That's one of the um, mods you need to be able to install other mods. And um, the next one we're going to install is called an audio mod. You downloaded that from the description as well. And you just uh, open it up and you grab all those files again um, that were in the folder and you drag them and drop them again. And that's pretty much how you install things into the the Minecraft jar file, you know? You just drag them and drop them in there. But it has to be in the Minecraft that uh, jar file. And you need to open that with an uh, ar archive editor or whatever, like WinRAR. The next one we're going to... So we have audio mod and mod loader. The next one we're going to do is called um, spawn list. You open that up and it's only one class file. So nice and easy. Again, you grab that and throw it in there, and OK. And last is the Jew, the Jew, the G U I A P I thing. You Control A to select all of those, which are quite a lot, and you grab them and whoop, you throw them in there as well in the jar file. And once you have thrown all that, all those files and folders in there, you have to find this uh, M E T A slash inf file and get rid of that you know um once you have that um you have pretty much installed all the basic all the basic components that you need to install uh most of the mods or the modifiers for your minecraft game if you ever want to erase any of these mods and go back to um like regular minecraft all you have to do is type and run again whoa what's what's going on type and run and run run and just delete the minecraft file all together just click delete and run minecraft and it will create a whole brand new file without mods without modifiers so it's brand new and um for example now that you have all the basic utilities installed and you want to install um, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures, you extract Dr. Zark's Mo, Mo Creatures, and like we did before with all the modifiers, and um, you'll get a file. You open up that file, and a lot of the times you'll have readme text files, um, which um, will con contain instructions, like right here, how to install. So it, as it's, it's telling you to make a Minecraft, and uh, let's see. Let's follow along, shall we? You copy all the files folders from Minecraft to the root of the Minecraft.jar file. Um, the Minecraft.jar file is... Let's cancel that. Uh, it's this one. When you do app data under the run, you type in the, mine, the Minecraft and then the bin and the Minecraft.jar file. You open that with the WinRAR archiver. Or, yeah, and... Um, the files that it said uh, to, if you read the t read text me file, um, all the files and folders from the Minecraft, you transfer those into the archiver. So let's click on Minecraft, Control A to select all of them, and let's drag them in there, shall we? All right. Once they're dragged in there, let's go back and continue reading the instructions. Delete the meta inf file folder, which we already did. So we're one step ahead, and um. We're done editing the Minecraft.jar, but we're not done yet. So we can ca cancel the Minecraft.jar, and now we locate the .minecraft resources. So let's go back to our to our Minecraft folder and let's locate resources. Let's open up and uh, let's open up our where is it? Dr. Sark's small creatures. Let's go into resources and we're gonna take this. Um, where is it? Sorry, we have two resources opened. All right, so we're gonna take our mod and drop that into our our resources from the original Minecraft file. So folder. So once we we've done that, um, 
Let's see, what more can we do? Uh, look inside the resources, copy all of its contents. We did that. And it looks like we are done. Let's double check. Is there anything else we need to install? Uh, looks about right. You could, yep, and we're done. So let's open up uh, Minecraft. And Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures should be installed. Uh, let's log in. And create a new world. Uh, Mo Creatures. And you could do that with pretty much any um, mod you download from the internet. So if I wanted to install builders, what you do is extract the builders um, into a folder. And then you open up that folder. And again, you uh, read the text file to read the instructions. And they will usually always have instructions. If not, if it says put into jar file, remember, you guys remember how to get into the jar file, right? You do run the app data and you can oh by the way you guys can follow all of these instructions in the video description just so you know um so yeah you type in app data and um you open up the minecraft bin and the minecraft.jar file you open with uh winrar archiver and i hate this little annoying message but oh well and then you the one that says put into jar well this is the jar file so um, copy all of those and whoop we're gonna drop them in and okay ah oh yeah and it won't let me because um I'm running this right now in the background so let's just let's just make sure it installed the mole creatures first and then we'll continue installing the builders thing and if I'm lagging a little it's uh, because I'm like recording and doing all this other stuff so please forgive me I just need to find one creature to uh, make sure we did this correctly. So, did I hear somebody walking? No, that was me. Come on, don't hide from me. I'm not gonna hurt you. And that is uh, a sheep, so that won't help. I need to prove to you guys that I did it. And here we are, there's the the first animal from Mo Creatures, so you guys know that it installed correctly, so and there's more animals up there. So um let's cancel out of that and like I said, um you open up the jar file and you grab all of these and whoop throw them in there and okay. And as you can see it installed into the jar file. Oop, I guess that was my timer, so this video is really long. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you guys got the concept and followed all the instructions. If uh, you guys need any more help or... Uh, I wish I could make this a shorter video. I really hate that it's so long. I'm so sorry. Um, so if this is helpful, please let me know that it, it's like all that you need. If not, I will try to make a new video, a faster video, a... um. A more straight and forward video so um, yeah please let me know in your comments if you need help or just leave me a message or um just reach me in any way that you possibly can but uh, I will be here to help you so please do that uh, later guys